friends I am making a short little video hopefully later um, in a few days a week I'll have a longer podcast now I, I did do a podcast for Irish Fibre Crafters showing you some of the wonderful things that I got at the West Cork Yarn Festival and I think I'm gonna have to upload it to Wild Cottage Ireland because I keep trying to upload it to Irish Fibre Crafters and it won't go because it says we need to verify an account, the account. But it's a shared account. Oh, don't even talk to me. So it like locked me out, locked Sandra out. So I just said, you know what, I'm going to forget it. So there will be a very fibre based podcast coming up on Wild Cottage Ireland. So it'll say West Cork Yarn Festival. If you're not interested, just ignore that. Um... Yeah, so I just, this is kind of fiber based, but um, I just, I'm gonna have to, ouch. I'm gonna, I'm, hold on, well, I'll hold this for a minute. It's hurting my arm. Um, so I wanted just to show you a few things that came in the post for me just now. And they're really welcome because as, when I took the social media break, I was explaining to you about some of the problems that I'm having with the fibro and the medication. One of the medications I'm taking for it seems like it is harming me more than it is helping me um now it helped me and didn't really harm me for many months but now it seems to be a switch so i'm step with my doctor under her recommendation as well i'm stepping it down gradually and when i did the first step down the first week was really wonky because it made my anxiety sore and then it evened out so uh the the last two weeks anxiety has been really great I mean fine um, but now I've stepped down another 25 milligrams and this last night was the second night and now this morning I'm having anxiety for no reason so that I'm thrilled that these packages have come and I just one is fiber but I want to show it to you because the color is so beautiful and cheering so I'll flip this around and start over yeah I have Shep here with me my faithful friend it's all wet outside because also continuous rain and cloud is not helping. So I have two packages, one from the UK and one from Ireland. And as you can see, I got a knitting book from the library because I am taking my first steps in knitting. But hold on, I'll open these packages and show you some goodies. Hello. So this is my first package. Now it is a fiber package. But it's so beautiful and cheery. I think even if you don't like fiber, you might enjoy it. This is from Eve Chamber Textiles. And now when we were in West Cork Fest with Irish Fiber Crafters, I got a lot of her yarns. Um, but I, before we even left, I had ordered this lovely braid that I'm going to spin from Eve. And I love absolutely every color in the world, truly. Um, but uh, some of my favorite favorites are sort of like oranges and all kinds of vibrant colors um and so i'm really excited about this i love even more orange because of the association i have now with foxes so it reminds me of foxy and now our other fox that visits us skittles and uh then there's this lovely mini skein now the camera is actually blowing the mini skein out a whole lot it's not it's a bit darker than that. It's not quite as, you know, sort of lurid. I say lurid in a good way too, because I do like some lurid colors. Um, so that's my first package. And the second one is the one from the UK, from Katie Greenbean, who is an illustrator. I mean, she's also a knitter and she's a sewist and everything, but I'm gonna show you what I got from her in the way of illustrations. Do you look, the little sheep sticker. The love, oh look, and knitting balls balls of knitting so yes oh Shep is very excited yeah Shep look at that it smells like sheep it smells like sheep a lovely thank you note from Katie oh look that's really nice too a little postcard the green bean podcast one of my favorite podcasts really relaxing too in the evening or if you have an anxiety attack like <laughs> I was having and may be having again but anyway so I'm gonna try and all this is looks very eco-friendly and recyclable slash compostable 
I got a tea towel of the British sheep breeds. Now, I would love to have one of Irish sheep breeds. Now, there are only two left, two traditional Irish, Irish sheep breeds. We do have a lot of these breeds here in Ireland. But um, I thought that was going to be really pretty. Hold on, I'll open it up. So Sheppy was just looking at it. And he is afraid of sheep. He's a retired sheepdog. He's nothing, he wants nothing to do with sheep anymore. But So here we go. It's actually, a, look, there's my hand. This is a huge, amazing tea towel, which, you know, I have a thing for tea towels, as many people in Ireland and the UK do I think I don't know if there's a bigger thing in other countries but um yes so I'm not going to really use this as a tea towel because I don't want it to stain so um yeah so I'm gonna take care of that definitely because it's very precious look at all the sheep breeds and the thing is is their wool is all different and good for different things and they are just really precious genetic diversity and all this sort of thing so anyway so that's that and hold on i also ordered her new zine the green bean isn't this lovely so this one has a rock pooling theme all about the things that you'll find when you go rock pooling isn't that lovely she's such a lovely artist i really enjoy her illustrations oyster catchers limpets yeah so that's all her information there i'll just show it so that you can know kind of what she's about and where you can find her and i've joined i actually i don't support anyone else on patreon i do support katie greenbean not to say that i won't later support other people but she was the first one that I kind of said, you know what, I really, really want to support this podcast. So we have um, patterns and all kinds of, you know, crafty things. So, and this was one of, the Green Bean Podcast was one of the ones that really made me go, I have got to learn to knit. And then, so I also ordered from her more than yarn, some drawings about knitting. So I'm so, so super excited to start knitting and um, I was hoping to knit on the way home from the West Cork Yarn Festival but it was just too bumpy and as a very beginner knitter I like really have to look at what I'm doing and I would get car sick so unfortunately knitting did not happen in the car for me you know because most Irish rows are so windy and bumpy like <laughs> that uh, yeah mightn't be the easiest thing to do anyway so those are some little treasures that I got today at a time when I really needed them and I'm so super thankful and grateful that these people made these items and that I have enough extra money to buy them and um oh my goodness yes